So who reads the fine print in their insurance policies? Hands up. Yes, I thought so. Nobody, nor in any policies, but somebody actually did. And they got to our reporter, Zach Schumer, who did a great job on this story. And as it turns out, there's a $14 billion little secret insurance pool out there from a terrorism levy. Yes, in the wake of 9-11, the terror attacks in 2003, the government, probably after some whining from the insurance companies about terror risk, set up a pool. And a lot of insurance companies, if you're a business or a high-end property owner, you're likely to be paying an insurance terror levy, terrorism levy. $14 billion now. And guess what? Zach found there's not one claim that has been made, not even the Lint Cafe, probably goes, if you follow the money, to why exactly <laughs> the governments don't rush to declare something a terrorism incident because it could fuel some payouts from their little terror pool. In any case, if you're a farmer out at Wagga Wagga, what is your risk of an attack from ISIS, from Islamic State? You would have to think it's very low. So it's a scam and it's been building for 20 years years, this $14 billion pool. So businesses are paying this mostly and a few high-end property owners, but it's mostly businesses, small businesses, commercial operations, a terrorism levy. Just on the background of that too, we saw the CPI this week. You know, it wasn't a, wasn't a too bad a number, but if you have a look at the insurance component, this is where we're getting quietly robbed, insurance. You know, we reported last month that one insurance company had made a 500% increase in net profit. So insurers aren't doing it too hard and they are charging like wounded bulls. We see the CPI saying insurance prices continued to record strong growth in the June quarter, increasing by 14% in the 12 months to June. Price growth eased from the 16.4% rise in the March quarter, but remained high. Higher reinsurance, natural disaster, and claims costs continue to drive higher premiums for motor vehicle, house, and home contents insurance. The problem with insurance, of course, is that it's a black box. Nobody knows because of all the reinsurance contracts, really what the real exposures are, where they're going to get hit from. It could be a flood in Alabama uh, because of reinsurance uh, that might be affecting Australian insurance premiums if one of the People has taken on too much risk there. It's a bit of a duopoly with QBE and IAG and the Suncorp people. So complete black, black box, very profitable. Mind you, they've got huge climate risk, so they'd be putting a bit of money away. But the fact is, we don't know, but we are being charged for it. Insurance is one of the great reasons for the increase in cost of the cost of living crisis. So we just thought we'd tell you about the terror insurance levy because that's a little beauty. But nobody, of course, Zach found, the reporter found, is willing to talk about it, to go on record and talk about whether we need this terror insurance at all. So we'll keep, keep you posted on that one.